looking for real to free music, check out episode. Hey guys. Ooh, it's bright in here. Light. Ooh, it's too bright. Hey guys. Happy Sunday. Bless Sunday. Just wanted to come on real quick. <clears throat> I was vlogging all day, but decided not to use any of the footage. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to come on and say, hey, I'm going to open up the phone lines just in case. Someone wants to call in, just let me know. Um, yeah. Hey, just want to say hello. Some good vibes. Working on some of my business stuff. It's 2021. It's time to take some action, guys. I'm telling you, it's time to not be sitting around, not doing anything. We got to be focus. We got to stay busy because we don't want to get distracted. We don't want to fall for any of the um, little games and theatrics, you know, so let's stay busy, guys. Um, yeah, I hope you guys got a chance to, if you didn't get a chance to uh, watch that video, that live that I did um, from a letter from a perp, Check it out, guys. It's very interesting. I can't find that letter from nothing in the world. They gave me a lot of, um, what is it, interference. When I was trying to uh, log back onto it, it was gone. So I'm going to keep searching for it because I should have saved it. I don't, usually when I see stuff that I'm interested in, I usually click save as and save it as a document. <clears throat> but it's, you know, when I did the live, I guess they caught on to it. And hey, hey, Crystal. You know, they caught on to me reading that um, letter from a perp. And um, now I can't find it online anywhere. So I'm going to keep searching. Um, but that's what they do. Um, they gave me a little interference with my computer. So I know they must have hacked into the computer after I did that. Um, so that I can't search for it. But you know, because I had to turn off the computer, reboot it, then start it over again and reboot it for it to actually work. So, yeah, they'd be all doing all kinds of stuff in the background in our in our computers and our devices. Um, but uh, like Steele said, you know, that's what they do. These people are um, they're they're just evil. They're really evil. But keep talking, keep speaking up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and hopefully it will subside, you know, I keep saying that I'm going to stop talking about it, but it, 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 I, it, I can't, I really can't guys. I try my best to not even talk about this stuff anymore, but I said, I wasn't even going to go into 2021 talking about this. I'm just going to have an optimistic mindset and work on me and my goals and worry about just me. You know what I mean? Not saying that I'm not going to worry about other things. I'm just saying I'm going to focus on getting my goals accomplished. I'm not going to let nothing distract me. You get what I'm saying? I don't think it will stop for me. Yeah, that's how I feel. I don't think it's going to stop for us. I just think sometimes it will, it, it goes away. Like sometimes it could be just quiet. You know what I'm saying? And then all of a sudden, for some odd reason, it just picks back up again. I don't know if it's because they know that we're doing something. In the meantime, you know, me that either working on ourselves or leveling up in a, you know, could be anything, could be moving to another area, could be moving to another apartment or whatever, or a house or working on some kind of business or working on trying to get our, it, it doesn't matter. When they start seeing us trying to level up is like, that's when they come full charge again. So all I can tell you is just keep doing what you're doing, focusing on, um, getting yourself together, strengthening yourself, myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to stay with my vision straightforward. I'm working on it. I'm not letting them distract me, even though I know they're going to be there. I know they're going to be tampering. I know they're going to be doing this. I'm just going to keep right on. That's all we got to The stalker. I'm not on his channel trying to perp him and confront him. He's confronting me. So in Florida law, if someone comes to you confronting you and threatening you and threatening your life and putting your children and your family life in danger, you have the right to attack. 
you have the right to stand your ground and fight for your life. So no, I'm not confronting him and I do not condone confronting people unless they come in your face fronting and confronting you. So I know, but he won't call you and you asked him to call. Yeah, I asked him to call. Because that's what perps do. They're cowards. They're narcissistic, but they're cowardly. And they always end up doing the cowardly shit to people. It's the program. It's the program that they're in. Just like that letter I read to you guys. These people do cowardly shit and get thrilled, get tickled. They probably get hard on because of this narcissistic program. You know, that's why a lot of um, YouTuber females get injured because some old sick, twisted bastard, bully, perp, stalker is harassing them or plotting behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I want him to come on here so I can hear his voice and hit, listen to him or her because it could be a woman. Could be a woman. It could be even a child. You never know. You don't know who you're dealing with when you become a YouTuber or put yourself out on YouTube and do these videos. I didn't come out here to do that. I didn't come out here to be bullied, harassed, stalked, anything like that. But I will stand my ground. Believe that. One thing about me, I will stand my ground. If someone comes and tries to harm me. So it's, th it's these mind games that these people play. Sick, they don't have no life. They miserable. That's why I did a video. Don't be don't have a miserable life. Don't live a miserable life. Because when you live a miserable life, you go around harassing people, you go around gaslighting people, stalking, one hit lighting, street theatering people blackballing people off of their jobs, gossiping about somebody, all kinds of stuff, planting shit on people. That's what that's what perps do. That's what evil demonic entities do. Cuz they live a miserable, miserable, disgusting life. And then they look at somebody who's living an okay life who's trying to maintain and mind their business and stay in their lane and then they want to come and harass them. But they'll make me turn. See, that one person will make me not like anyone who, who even acts like him or give someone a chance who even acts like him. You know what I'm saying? That's why you don't give people like this a chance. That's why you don't F with them. That's why you don't even let them near you. Stop playing with these people. Stop hanging around these people. Stop talking on the phone with people like this. They're disgusting. I just played y'all a video where it says, you know, your haters in, are probably somebody that really looks up to you but can't stand you at the same damn time. That's why I can see why some of your family members <clears throat> or people in your community don't like you. Because they they look up to you or they like they like you in a way, but something about you they like, but something about you they really can't stand. You know what I'm saying? And so those are the type of people you leave them alone because they don't know they kind of bipolar or something. Something ain't right with them. Borderline schizophrenic or something. And I'm not talking down on anyone with any me mental health issues. It's just the point is they need to stay away from me. Because me and them are not the same. There's help for people like that. You know what I'm saying? They need to have special attention. That's why we have laws to protect them. We have laws for them to go seek treatment and stuff like that. Because a normal person have the right to live in a peaceful environment. Targeted individuals 
have the right to live in a peaceful environment, but we don't because we have sick, twisted individuals who sign up for these programs, get paid for it, and do this to people knowing there's consequences, knowing that they're harming someone. And when they stay in these programs and choose to continue to harm people, something ain't right about that. Something ain't right about them, mentally or spiritually. They got their whole life effed up. You know? So that's why I continue to come on here. Speak out about this program. And speak out about my harassment. Because you guys are just spectators listening and looking. I have no idea who you guys are. Really, I don't. I don't see what y'all are going through. I don't see your videos. That's why I constantly say, get from behind that camera and start recording some of your harassment. Maybe it'll get easier. Or maybe it'll be some type of peace of mind for you. But shit, <laughs> I can tell you one thing. African-Americans have been going through this program way before this program even started. So, you know, it could be a racist behind this, this guy. Who knows? You know? Who knows? I understand I don't look for confrontation, but when they attack, I stand my ground unless I just want to just want to watch them to make a fool of themselves. Whatever, whatever you feel, hey, do you. That's why I say I focus on doing me. I don't need to confront anyone, but when they confront me and they threaten me, that's a different story. I'll stand my ground when the time is right to stand my ground. Because one thing about it, I don't go around harassing people. I want them to explain what's going on. I want to put their ass on glass. See, they see my face. I don't see who they are, so I want to put them on blast. All this does is just make him look stupid or her look stupid because he won't even or she won't even come on the line. Because that's when you know that's when you know it's a hater that sits and watches me. Probably don't even talk with me before, and I know their voice. So that's why I want them to come on the line. I want to put their ass on blast, but they don't want to get on blast because they know the shit that they're doing is miserable. They're hating. They're fighting within themselves. That's how the devil works. It'll The devil will have you fighting with yourself. Because of the shit you do. Being a perp is a lifestyle. Being a perp is a lifestyle. It's a miserable lifestyle. And people perp you right here on YouTube. Hating on you when all you've been trying to do is be positive. Oh no. uh, -uh. We want to hear your, who you are. We want to know who you are, Joseph Smith. Don't come later to try to attack because that's what you do. That's what the devil do. He come when you least expect it. That's why he, he you know, he won't show his face or he won't um, say anything. He won't. He don't want us to know who he is because that's how the devils work. This ain't nothing new. That's why the Most High said in Ob Obadiah, he coming and destroying him. Most High is coming to destroy Ob in Obadiah, the book of Obadiah. He said there's going to be a judgment on Edom. So read that, read that chapter. Read that book. I've read it a few times on here. Probably some hater that unsubscribed to me or felt like, you know, I don't unsubscribe to them. I don't unsubscribe to you. I, I may not even like you and I still have you. I will still be subscribed to you. I ain't gonna unsubscribe to you.
Because I ain't do nothing wrong to you. You know what I'm saying? You're doing something to me. You're harassing me. I ain't going around harassing nobody. But anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to say. I'm going to let this ride out for a little bit. I said I'll be on here till 9.30. Look, I'm past 9.30, but just for that, I'm just letting this thing ride on out. Unfortunately, I can't put it on, like, quiet. I can only, I can turn it down low, but you still hear it. But anyway, guys, so that's about it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for him to come on. Hello, Crystal. How you doing? Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm mute. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. How you doing? It's been a struggle. Um, I've been trying to um, get things together here in town. Um, I've been paying attention a lot to these YouTube spiritualists mm -hmm. and I, I'm, I'm just having a difficulty because I know that all their posts are directed at me mm -hmm. and I'm just not really looking forward to that like it, it like I know that they've been using a lot of invisible technologies to try to convince me that like I miss them and I want to reach out to them and I make mistakes and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. I know that in reality, I know they're just trying to reel me back in and trying to have um, control over me. And if not, then, you know, they'll do like this whole public shaming type of thing. Mm -hmm. And it, and it's like, it's just been really tough because I know that I know in my heart that I'm telling the truth and they know in my heart that I'm telling the truth, mm -hmm. but like a lot of like the things that I have, like have been obstructed, but like they have a paper trail that can easily be twisted and lied, mm -hmm. you know, and it's just really difficult for me to like, um, the, you know, the whole narrative is twisted as if, you know, I'm the bad guy and they're the good guy. When right. The opposite. Right. I understand what you're saying. Is there any way you can get this clear, cleaned up anyway without dealing with them? I don't know. Because I feel like if I deal with them, that will still be twisted because it, it's like the whole mantra of anything that um, will be said can be used against you. Mm -hmm. Wait, and, and I, you know, communicated this via email. Like, I just want a fair truth. Mm -hmm. But even with that, like, they still twisted that. Like, oh, this person is trying to reconcile with me. And I'm just walking away from them. Like, as if, like, I'm the one begging for their love, even though they put that, that, um, that image in right. my head in the first place because they were sending images of reconciliation candles and, and, and all of this stuff and you know I was just really just just, just a lot of mind control stuff mm -hmm. to make it look like I'm begging for them but in reality I know that they're, they're the ones that's trying to manifest me back right so they're using like a passive aggressive kind of witchcraft on you not so right like so there's no paper trail on their side, but it controls my behaviors to make it look like I'm the one that's doing right. all this stuff. Right. So, so like what I didn't realize until I moved here and did more research is that they use the voice of skull and artificial telepathy and, and stuff like that. So that way it would control your behavior and therefore it would create some type of um, paper trail on you to where it looks like you're the one who's slandering them, you're the one who's who's saying lies, mm -hmm. you're the one who's doing that. But in reality, there's some shadowy figures that's controlling certain technologies and doing different witchcraft to control the behavior of the person. And and like the the waking world, like the law and, and therapists and all that stuff, they don't they don't um, acknowledge the covert technologies mm -hmm. although they know about it 
Right. But they just look at the tangible behaviors. And I know if they were to look at tangible behaviors, they still got what they wanted. Even if, even when I was like, okay, screw this, I'm not, I'm not going to the doctors or a therapist or taking the meds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They still got the behaviors that they wanted because of the mind control and the directed energy weapons. Right, right. So you being manipulated on all fronts, it seems like, with um, right. the, the weapons, the yeah, group, right now, the group thing, all yeah, of that. Right now, their uh, angle is basically you destroyed yourself. So since we can't kill you, mm-hmm. um, you know, which I did some praying and and and, and spiritual work on myself, which, which I discovered, yeah, they actually did have a hit on me. Since we can't, we can't. Um, kill you, what we're going to do now is we're going to affect your um, ability to be able to make money. Right. So that's what their purpose is. is to slow down my bag while taking credit of the gifts that I have. Like, they're, they're trying to make this a, this, this twin, um, twin flame type of scenario by knowing reality. It, it's, it's a covenant that has been made between mm-hmm. families that I don't want any part of and because I'm not fulfilling what it is that they want me to do, mm-hmm. then I'm going to be the one that's to suffer severe consequences, especially with me, like, you know, coming out about what these people were doing to me. Right. I just wanted the torture to stop. I didn't realize that was an initiation process, and that was going to be, like, the opportunity for, for me to be able to, like, sell out into the body positively industry mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. i felt that then then basically now there's going to be this whole entire public humiliation ritual that these people are trying to plan and, and no matter how much i pray it's, it's, it's not going to stop it mm-hmm. not going to stop it Once- and, and i think that they're trying to say that i should come out and tell the truth but we both know the truth and the truth is, I was framed, even though it looks like I'm the one who made mistakes on my own and did it. There were other hands mm-hmm. that I'm, I have a hard time proving. So, mm-hmm. I mean, that's the truth. And I maintain that. That's right. I don't know what else they want from me. They already know. They just want a paper trail of me talking to them. Yeah, d- don't do anything. In, you know, I'm not an attorney, but I'm just saying, don't give them nothing that they can use or try to twist. You know what I'm saying? You know you're innocent. And continue to voice that. You know what I'm saying? You're innocent and continue to voice that and never, yeah, never even communicate with them. I know they probably use the MK Ultra voice to skull or whatever, however it works. Telepath to let the what is it, telepathy or whatever? You know, just just block it. You have to make you have to have a mechanism in you to block it. Whether it's a prayer, a right. specific prayer from the Bible, um, and and just a, a, some kind of, you know, I would say verse in the Bible, when they're trying to break through to you, you just throw it at them, throw it back at them. You know what I'm saying? Block them. I'm blocking you. Just say that I'm blocking you from any torture. I do not consent to it. You have to have some kind of mechanism that you use. And, and stand firm on it, you know, stand firm on it. Mm-hmm. You know, if you have to, you know, pretty much you just got to just cut ties with them. Tell them that. Say, I'm cutting ties with you. I, ha- I have nothing to do with you anymore. You, ha- you have hurt me to the utmost. And I, I rebuke you in the name of the most high God, Yah, you know what I'm saying? And his son, Christ, the Messiah. You have to just be a bold spirit as the Lion of Judah. You know what I'm saying? Just just go off on them one time. Just go off. And I don't. I know it's kind of hard to do that when you're in, or surrounded by a lot of people. But maybe do it when you're in your car. You know, that's what I tell. I'd be doing that too. I just have to. I have to go off. I have to. I have to really rebuke the devil. You know, and he will flee. Rebuke him one time. Rebuke him in your car one day and just go off. Let everything out how you've been feeling. I mean, to them, tell them I have I don't have, want anything to do with you anymore. I don't want you contacting me. You do not have my permission to keep harassing me and taunting me. You know what I'm saying? Find that devil. 
That's all they are, devils, witches. That's a witch covenant. And God a whole entire covenant. Yeah. Like it's like those those type of covenants it's really hard to break off. Because these are family covenants. Mm -hmm. You know, soul ties, like like all of that, you know, together. Like like this whole entire thing is a whole entire soul tie. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's like it's like multiple people courted to me because I'm their food source. Mm -hmm. And and I'm the one that got away, and they're like, "Nope, we want you back." And I'm like, "Nope, let me live my life." And they're pretty much like, "Okay, well, we'll destroy everything else." And but you can break that. You you, you know just I mean? you can break that. It's just but I don't know about witchcraft and yeah. stuff like when it comes to being actually a yeah, part right. a part of it, and then trying to break away from it. I'm just saying, I know, just like they bound you into it, they can unbind you. That's the most high is not going to let you be bound forever with these people. You just got to go to a certain scripture in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? Because even the Bible helps you out of stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just that you got to find that specific, uh, you know, a prayer in there specifically to unbind you from those evil spirits, you know, because that's what they are. They're evil right. spirits. And their time is up and God is going to handle them. I know he doesn't even like, he doesn't even like witches. He don't like any evil doers. Go to a scripture in the Bible about evil doers and just and use that. And when they come back tapping in, read that thing out loud. You know what I'm saying? Or have it memorized where you can say it in your mind and, and you know, block them. But, you know, these people are, are everywhere. You Like I read that letter, the the letter from a perp is telling us that these people are everywhere in everything. You know what I'm saying? Their hands are in everything. It's just that there's, there's a group of them have that are put in place. Aunt's been to the rest of the group. You know what I mean? That's why I always say it's some good people in this world, but it's also some bad people in this world in every aspect of life, in every position, in every company, in every, you know, department. These people are infiltrating everything, you know, just like that movie Jim Carrey played in with those people with the funny faces. I forgot the name of it. It was like they were invading the world and stuff. And oh, uh, hi, Shonda G. Shonda G said Psalms 37, Crystal. Read Psalms okay. 37. Yeah, Psalms 37. You see how they attack me. They'll attack, they attack me and I don't know who they are and I just be rebuking them, but I know they want me to get all rowdy and ratchet and all that kind of stuff, but I refuse to do that. In 2021, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm rebuking them. I, I always rebuke them anyway, but I'm just saying I'm not going to let them get me out of my character. I'm just going to continue to rebuke them and we have to rebuke them with the word of the most high. That's the only way you're going to be free from right. these witches. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to get you some blessing oil. You know what I'm saying? Some blessed oil or something. And and just every time they come, you just throw it. and You know what I'm saying? Throw it at them or whatever. I don't know <laughs> how they be using those invisible daggers, sticking us with it. Use the word. You know what I'm saying? To, to you know, block them and, and um, get rid of them. You know, that's all, that's all I can really say. And I, I'm just praying for you. I pray that you, you know, come to to some kind of relief from these people, these these evil people. You know, it is a way. It's just the TIs. We just don't know how to combat it alone. Because like um, Truth Truth told us on a, um, that online um when we did that i did that live and he came on um and he was just saying that we have to live our life every day just keep continuing to go on move forward and we know that they're there we know that they're they're doing this to us attacking us but we have to have some kind of defense we have to make sure that we have we stand strong you know what i'm saying and we don't crumble and that's why i'm just standing strong i'm standing strong i know they're there i know they're constantly harassing and attacking. I just have to keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? Can't let them distract me because what they're doing is distracting you for something bigger and better. It's just that you can't let them do that. You can't let them do that. Right. 
or you know, and the and thing that that's right. that's the thing, whatever whatever the thing is they're trying to hold over your head, that too will pass. Eventually that will that will fade, you know, to a point where the most high will work that out for you. You just got to stay in prayer with that. You know, like how a lot of a lot of people have gone through things that they didn't think they could get out of. You know what I'm saying? But they prayed their way out of it. You got to pray your way out of certain circumstances. You know what I'm saying? And and just have no fear. Have no fear. You know, you have to stand like a bold lion. Just stay. We're going to have adversity. It's just that you can't let these people get to you. You know, you can't keep you. You're. It's not good to be your for your your psyche and your mental for them to keep haunting and harassing you. So you have to have some kind of mechanism to block that. You know. Right. Yeah. Right. I think I think I may have to take a break from like online for a while because I think that's where they're at. Yeah. All these. Yeah. Like all these. Like occultists like these, these, these you know these agents and I yeah. know that they're liars I'm yeah like, wow it's like you all get paid to lie yeah. you know what I mean like that's what it says in like Richard Lighthouse's one of his ebooks like CIA like they get paid to lie Ooh, you know wow. what I mean like that's, that's what they do right and it it really infuriates me when people lie mm-hmm. it's like I know I'm not lying Right. Just, I don't have a paper trail, and they do. They have plenty to work with, and they can twist anything that they want. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm just really looking at the energy of these people, and I'm just like, you all are so disgusting. Like you all are lying when it is a person, and you don't care because you're getting money for it. Right, right. That's why I had. I should say, you know what? I'm not gonna. I was like looking at somebody online and thinking, oh, okay, they're inspiring me. You know what I mean? And then when I started seeing their personality show, and then when they noticed that I was noticing that, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. This is some kind of spiritual shit. Like they knew, they knew that I was peeping the bullshit. Like I wasn't liking their comments anymore. I was slow to like, you know what I'm saying? And then they blocked me. (laughs) They blocked me. Right. And I then and then they post it me when they know that I try to do a fade mm-hmm. or or ghost him or they try to like come in with gifts like mm-hmm. you know like try to like come in try to act like a friend and I'm like yeah I can tell you're trying to come in so it's the right way like you can keep yourself courted to me mm-hmm. and it's like that that's kind of the thing like this whole like paradox mm-hmm. that like the whole narrative on the other side is that I go sit them and they try to do everything to help me. Mm-hmm. And woo-woo. But in reality, it's like, intuitively, I knew that there was something off with you. Mm-hmm. And I had to, I had to go to It was like, I could tell that they were a narc, mm-hmm. you know, and there was something wicked about this person. And, and I don't feel like I have to explain necessarily on why I blocked them. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like I knew that they was a narcissist. Mm-hmm. And that's why I thought I was doing right. Like anybody who's a narcissist or a flying monkey or anything like that, mm-hmm. you go to them. Mm-hmm. You block them without any explanation and that's that, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But, Which is nothing you know, wrong with it in the real them. world. In the real world, when you block somebody, that's no problem. I mean, we block people all the time. You know what I'm saying? If they come across wrong, but as a TI, it's a different. You know what I'm saying? We we get treated like a little bit different. So what I'm saying is, if you're supposed to be somebody who's supposed to be inspiring someone, you shouldn't care what they're saying, like in the in the comment section, if they're not disrespecting you you understand what i'm saying you shouldn't care if somebody's not liking your comments or whatever but when you start seeing somebody else shining that same person trying to shine they want to unfollow you 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 get what i'm saying they're trying to unfollow they're going to unfollow you now because now that person has gotten a little stronger and whatever they were dealing with now they're they're posting something like me i was posting something i'm you know doing things i'm i'm working on my Instagram and all of a sudden I'm unsubscribed, you unsubscribe and you block me. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's why you have to stay positive. When you stay positive, you're going to see a lot of negativity come your way. You know what I'm saying? 
you're going to always see a lot of negativity coming your way. I just say stay positive even more. Stay positive even more, guys, because the, the more you stay positive, the negative that person or those people get. And you got to be strong. You're going to have to be strong now. You're going to have to put on your full armor. I've been, we've been saying that. And as in the Bible, it ain't come from me. I'm just saying. But you, God is going to show you who your enemies are. I'm telling you. Yes, we not none of us are perfect. And we all have things we're dealing with. But when we're trying to stay on a positive path, we're going to start seeing a lot of the people that we didn't realize or really didn't like you that didn't like us. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to say. So I just say my thing to you and to myself is stay positive even more. You're going to get people coming in your page, under your chat, trolling you. You're going to come have somebody in your social media saying little slick stuff. Continue to be positive because they want you to get on their level because once you are on their level, you're just like them. Just like just just like them, just like that letter said when I was reading it, it's pretty much saying they're the ones. They're the um, what it, I forgot the term. I'm gonna have to go watch my own video to see because the letter is gone. But they're telling us that we are the special ones. We're the one with the light. You know what I'm saying? And they're a group of people like hyenas. I just seen that on a video. Thank you to uh, I forgot the name M M something. He left that. He told me to go check his video out. I went over to his page and checked that video out. And he, I, um, and I can't believe he did a wonderful job on that video. But it's saying that we are the lions and they are the hyenas. They're trying to attack us, always trying to come for us. And all we're doing is just living confidently in ourselves. You know what I'm saying? In our, in the light that the Most High created for us to be happy. So guys, please go and watch my video. Um, I don't know. I think it was the letter from a per the comments. MM, uh, the channel MM something, TI something told me to go check his channel out. I went over and checked his channel out. Please, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna try to um, share his link of that video. It was a wonderful video. It showed how this lion was getting harassed and attacked by a pack of hyenas, right? And then he was about to get, he was, he was about to get. Um, overtaken by these hyenas, the pack of hyenas, until his his boy came or his girl came or whatever that was that came, his help. God sends our help in the time of trouble, I'm telling you. And when he seen that, he just took that hyena. He, he, became, he must have got even powerful. He took that hyena was shaking him. And then when his partner came, all of them thought the, the hyenas was fleeing because they knew like, you know, two of the lions would have overtaken all of them. So when he, him and his friend got together and they were just hugging on each other, he was so happy to see that they were just hugging on each other, like just playing. They had fell out. He fell out and they, the little, the other one fell on him and they were just rolling and playing because that's what they do when they're pubs. They roll and play, but he, his help came in, in the time of trouble, right on time, his help came. So that's why I said, you know, don't give up because God will send help for you. You know, sometimes we may have to look for the help, but sometimes, you know, he sends it when we least expect it. So never give up, guys. Never give up. But please check that video out. Go find that um, comment by MMTI something. I don't know it by heart. I see a lot of people comments and stuff, but it's under one of my recent lives that I did. I think it was under the um, letter from a perp video. Um, and um, just click his, his um, channel and it'll take you to his page. And his last most current video he did, it was it was amazing. He had a lot of scriptures in there too. Beautiful, beautiful. But yeah, guys, just hang in there. You know, we're gonna we're gonna but be I'm victorious. Because I know I'm at a curfew. Okay. So I really like um, talking to you. I like talking to you too, Crystal. Stay strong, okay? And try to use the, those okay. scriptures. Read your Bible. Okay. All right. Thank good night. You, so you welcome. Have a good show. You too. Good night. But yeah, guys. Good night. Good night. Currently the only in this but yeah. So just hang in there, guys. Read that, those scriptures. You know, um, Samantha had did a video. My God is in control, and um, she read out of Joel. Joel, I'm sorry, Joel. J O E L. And I looked for that verse today and I was reading out of it too. It was powerful. Oh my God, it's powerful. I didn't get to finish it. I'm going to finish it. 
but um, very powerful words. So check Joel out too, guys. But yeah. And Shonda, thank you. If you're still on here, Shonda G, she says Psalms 37. I'm going to read that too tonight. But yeah, guys. But I'm going to go now. Um, I've been on here, but evidently the troll didn't want to come on and, and say anything under Joseph Smith, but that could be anybody. But so all I'm going to say is I'm not going to, you know, get out of character for no troll that I don't even know. I'm not going to let them insert fear in me. The most High said, have no fear. He's going to take control of that. He's going to take that away. You know, he's going to handle it. He's going to handle our enemies for us. He's going to avenge for us everything that Satan and them demons have destroyed, taken away, stolen, you know what I'm saying, or trying to steal. It won't work, okay? No weapon formed against all of us shall prosper. It just won't work. It may form now. It may form, but it ain't going to work. So on that note, guys, peace and blessings in 2021. Let's try to be you know, happy, less distracted by our enemies and focused on us. We will get further ahead if we stay focused on us. Let's work on our goals and block these distractions out. Peace and blessings, guys.